Hi everyone, uh, Friday afternoon here at Suarez HQ and uh, we just thought we'd give you an update on a couple of things. So we're, we're off, we've got a really, really busy week next week, so we're off out uh, with seven paintings to see a client on Monday in London, which is what all this is, is all wrapped up, so we've got everything pre-prepped, so that Monday morning all we've literally got to do is just load the van up and go off. Anywho, uh, the other thing we're going to do, apart from giving the phone a good test to see whether it can cope with low light conditions is I wanted to show you actually what we're doing with the live streaming. Now we haven't, as we shoot this video, started the live streaming yet, but um, it's been such a difficult journey just to this point, just with tech and trying to make things work. And you know, there's a thousand tutorials out there on YouTube and things like that, but you, you know, to solve a particular problem, sometimes you just gotta try and figure it out yourself. So we wanna try and show you what we've done um, secrets wise and all that kind of stuff and the kit that we've got and that we're hooking up ready for the live streaming and hopefully it'll give you an idea about how cool we hope the live streaming is going to be. So we're going to do it from the paint pod. So let's get in there now. Now this bit, sorry, yeah. uh, this bit is the, <clears throat> what was historically called the clean room and uh, the clean room is um, where I normally get changed. So this is the main part of the pod, which we'll go into in just a second. And then when I come out, I'm covered in vapors. And this is the point at which I can isolate that before I leave and go out into the rest of the building. So this is, well, I say the clean room, but this is just like an isolation sort of part of the, of the pod where I paint. However, in order to live stream video from inside the pod, really you need a control station that's got to be as close to that as possible. So over the last couple of weeks, We've been buying kit left, right and centre, including this wonderful new orange chair, because orange is my favourite colour, so of course I had to buy an orange one. And uh, essentially, uh, the whole point of this is, is that we're going to run three cameras, okay? So I had to buy a super whiz-bang PC. This one's got a really good graphics card, which is, uh, it's an NVIDIA GeForce. I don't know which one it is, but it's six gig of RAM on board. And it's that giant black thing in there, which takes up about 20 slots. And um, with four HDMI outputs, and from there we can run monitors. And we can also, we know that I've got the processing power. I think it's on an i, is it an i7 chip? Uh, yes. i7 or i9? i7 chip. i7 chip. It's a pretty good Intel chip with a ton of memory and a solid state drive. Because we've got to simultaneously run and process three video streams through the machine and then output onto the channel that we're live streaming on whether it be Twitch or YouTube we're probably going to start off with YouTube so I'll just give you a 30 second rundown of the kit so we have a decent PC and uh, this is from overclockers not affiliated at all uh, no sponsorship nothing I've had to pay hard cash for this but the team at overclockers have built this to the spec and so far really really good and it's Windows based by the way um, so that sat on a computer desk, so it starts with the, with the uh, computer. The next thing is, is the cameras. So I'm going to take you through the cameras in just a second, but there are two Logitech cameras with these. And there's a wide screen, which you can see on the top, which is a 90 degree angle, rather than the normal 68, 78 degree angled webcams. Uh, and these are on at 1080p. And then there is a second one, which is the overhead camera. And that is a Logitech C920, and that's a 1080p, but it's a 78 degree lens uh, rather than it being sort of, you know, this widescreen one. So switching between them, I'm keeping the wide one for the studio shots. You can see me running around. And then the overhead cam. <clears throat> now these, these are, this is a client's paintings at the moment, but the overhead cam, it will be fit within the confines of the overhead. So we'll go in there and have a little look in a minute. The third camera, although it's not in here because it's on charge, is going to be the GoPro. So what Adrian's done is to rig up the GoPro chest mount. So the GoPro is going to go essentially just round here, strap around here and be on my chest. And then we're going to have a first person view of me actually doing the painting live. Now, we've done a fair bit of searching around the, the interweb, trying to look for people who have done this as a live stream. We can't find it. Obviously, if you find something, please do let me know. I had a good look around YouTube, but I uh, can't really find anything. So what the whole point of this is and doing getting all this tech together is to give three, to start with three different camera angles of the same work being done. But this one probably is the most interesting one to look at because this is exactly as if you were on the painting with me doing it. 
It's the closest we're going to get to it. So the GoPro is going to be hooked up as a webcam. That in itself, my lovelies, has given us a huge amount of grief. <laughs> now, if I can find the bit of kit. Uh, yes, here it is. OK, so historically, if you want to run um, a GoPro as a webcam, it's very, very difficult. And the, <laughs> the reason is, has the battery gone already? Crazy. Uh, so the battery's just gone. OK, so you can tell it's live. So uh, the whole point of you uh, trying to use a GoPro as a webcam is, is um, uh, yes, so you can stream something live through it. Now, in order to do that, you need to be able to convert the signal from its HDMI output, which is what that is, an HDMI cable, into something you can plug into USB, of the way that GoPro works. So essentially what you need, you need a little video uh, converter, and you can get them all over the place. Elgato make them, and they're all over the place. We found this one called a Lindy. Again, there is no product affiliation with this, but it's fairly inexpensive. It's under 50 quid and it does the job brilliantly. And now we can convert the HDMI signal into something that a USB port can read. OK, so that's really, really important moving forward. So they're the three cameras, um, two uh, a GoPro and two Logitechs. Over and above that, we've got a 32 inch slave monitor, which is a TV on the top with a rotating base. So that if we do decide to roll up the flaps here, then it's something I'll be able to see the live feed because the whole point of this is I want it to get interactive, especially on YouTube and Twitch live feeds. I want, you know, the left hand side of the, sorry, the right hand side of the screen to have all the information about uh, who's liking, who's offering comments, who wants to ask questions, that kind of thing. Um, so there'll probably be another slave monitor inside the pod when we get that fixed up. So when Adrian sat here in the, uh, in the control desk, if you like, the other great bit of equipment we've got is this stream deck. So I'm going to show you this. So we've just been setting this up today. Now this is an Elgato stream deck, no product affiliation. Again, just want to make that absolutely clear. I've paid for this in hard cash. Uh, but what this does, this is an ability to, uh, to control, well, actions on your computer. So I'm using some software called OBS, which I think is called Open Broadcast Software. And I've programmed a stream deck of which this one is uh, um, 15 buttons. And if I select OBS today, what we've done, we've actually put in shortcut buttons to select cameras. So if we have a look at the top monitor at the moment, all right, we are on overhead cam. And with the press of one button, I can flick straight to the corner camera. And we've also set up look there. That is a picture in picture. So we've got overhead followed by wide camera and the same in reverse wide camera followed by overhead. And Adrian can switch between all these views using the Stream Deck very, very easily so we don't have to use a mouse. It's just fantastic. The other thing we've got, if you have a look at the, uh, if the screen again, we've programmed in a, if we have a technical difficulty, which I'm expecting. So we've done this little, uh, this little video today. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Maybe if I got a bit closer. Yeah, so some nice interim music, just in case we, uh, we get stuck with technical problems. Okay. Okay, so that's that. And the other thing we've programmed in is some sound effects as well. So I think that's that's going to be. That's a. I don't know if you can hear that because I'm on the microphone. That's supposed to be a sad trombone. And there you go. Some applause. So. You know what, folks, the whole point of this is, is you know, I love what I do. We're, we're both so far into this, it's untrue. And I think it'd be really nice to share it with everyone and just see what happens. But I think with all of this, no matter how serious the tech is and how serious the actual project is, things like having applause or we're not going to have fart noises, but there'll be like, you know, tumbleweed noises and uh, people giggling. I think it's not to take everything that seriously. And I want to make it a little bit interesting and a bit of fun as well as having it quite serious, and I hope that you can learn something from it. So we'll go into the pod now, and I will actually see, uh, yeah, if Adrian just stays on that. So I'm just going to walk in, and let's prove that this actually works. <laughs> uh, can you see me on that, dude? Yeah. yeah. You. There you go. Have a little, little wave. So, so this will be it, really. If I stand kind of in the middle, and maybe, no, I can't see Adrian at this point, so when we're working, um, there goes the applause. When we're working, he's going to be switching in between scenes. So there might be a point at which... Can you flick to the overhead, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so you can see my face? Yeah, oh, yeah. 
Oh, hell yeah, yeah, unfortunately for you, yeah. Um, so we'll be able to do, you can see the overhead, and also from, if he goes on to multiple cams, so I'm just going to get this one off the floor because we are actually still working today. So this has got to be moved out because this actually is <clears throat> potentially going to belong to somebody. But this will give you an idea, ladies and gents, about what you can expect when you come to see the live stream footage. So you're going to be actually inside uh, the whole pod and you'll see everything from mixing the paint through to actually being physically done. I've got a ton of different tools. We're going to have a little bit of fun, hopefully, and I want to keep it interactive as well. Um, you know, so when I'm masked up, the next, the next big challenge is to try and sort the audio out. So I've got to have a wireless microphone uh, into my uh, mask. When I've got that in there, I've got to have an earpiece so that AD can talk to me as well. And we're going to try and do all that wirelessly. Ah, back in the room. So that's the whole point with the, uh, with the audio as well. So if we have a combination of the audio and of the videos and on different cameras as well, as well as the chess cam, the hope is, is that we can really give you a good interactive experience. So that's it as far as I can sort of take you in terms of the tech and the cabling and all that kind of stuff. If you've got any questions, please do ask. Uh, remember, if you're watching this now on YouTube, please do give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, especially subscribe, please, and tell your friends, because I genuinely think when we start this live streaming, it's just going to be something, you know, very, very special. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it as well. So don't forget, give me a subscribe. Have a look at the rest of the videos. There's some really nice, cool stuff coming through. Have a great weekend. Thank you for watching.